cooking up a feast of a show, here's Paul and Jamie. I just chop these. Yes, Dad. Stir this in. That's right. Grate this on, and there you go. So you can teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> <laughs> the Paul O'Grady Show is sponsored by Schwartz. Tonight, Ross Kemp, Jamie Oliver, and Paul plays golf. <laughs> Live at five on four, it's Paul O'Grady. Hey. Evening, folks. You OK? Yes? Well, let's let me paper out my part. I feel like I've just come from work, a camel laid. Look at that, the paper. <laughs> I'll tell you how I've got this. I'm just reading it. It says, smoking ban on West End streets. Areas outside bars and pubs could also become cigarette-free zones. Good, cos as a non-smoker, of course, it doesn't worry me. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't sound free of the week now. Maybe they do something about the crackheads, the pimps and the muggers as well. Well, the last is... Instead of always picking on the smokers. There you go. Anyway, welcome to the show. I'd just like to say, Fire-eating children. Now, last week I did a little bit of fire-eating and we've had lots of emails off kids wanting to know, how do you learn it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you listen to your Uncle Paul, kiddies, I'll tell you now, fire-eating, it's a sort of dying art, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. There's not many fire-eaters left because they all went up and smoke, let's be honest. <laughs> you know, one casual wave, <laughs> up you go. I mean, I was taught by an expert. I was taught by a lady called Flame Flare, the human torch, just outside York. <laughs> but she's no longer with us. And, uh, <laughs> well, no, she had a terrible addiction for fire lighters. She was on five packets a day. <laughs> Gone. So you mustn't do it, do you hear me? If you want to do it, go to circus school and learn properly. And that's all I'm saying. Right. Dear Paul O'Grady, I made this shield for your dressing room door. It is my 10th birthday on the 23rd of June. Oh, I missed your birthday. I'm awful sorry. <laughs> Can I please have a nodding bus? He's probably about 50 now, by the way. <laughs> and there it is, and that's what he's made for me, dressing room door. Thank you very much, Jack Brinton. And it's your birthday on June. OK, Bert, I think the post's a bit late, you know. <laughs> June, I'm sorry. What's this here? Dear Paul, I have photos of you and Buster in lovely frames. Oh, could you send me one of Bert and Olga? You don't want one of Bert, love. <laughs> 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 The bells, the bells! Oh, I'm a human being. No, you don't want. No, 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 no. If I ever get married, can you play at my wedding? Play what? <laughs> House? Oh, my organ. Oh, yes. That's Phyllis O'Toole, Liverpool. And there's lovely Phyllis with her mate. I'm on the left and my auntie's on the right. There you go, Phyllis. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> and a nod and buster's on your way. Oh, you haven't asked for one. Send it back. <laughs> What's this gummy heart? Anatomical gummy heart. Thought this might come in useful from... What, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> what case this one packs up and slap that in? <laughs> Thank you for that. I'll chew that on the bus going home. <laughs> What's this? Dear Paul, on Friday you commented on how George Hamilton looked dapper. He does. Smart as dressed telly in the... Smart as dressed telly. Smart as dressed fella on the telly and in the movies. I have sent you a cravat. They are very fashionable now. Even young pop singers wear them. OK, thank you. From Maureen in North Wales. Oh, I can't wear this. <laughs> oh, it's lovely, Maureen. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, Maureen. I want to know who the young pop singer is who wears one of these. <laughs> George Formby, by any chance? <laughs> Anyway, we've got a great show. I oh, can't get it off. We've got... Oh, they're a bit camped. They're a bit no coward, aren't they? Oh, that's around my head. Look, Sally, Sally! <laughs> Joining me tonight is one of the world's most popular chefs, Mr Jamie Oliver himself. <laughs> I've never met Jamie. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, cheerful Olga. Yeah. <laughs> you all right, Sol? Yeah. And we've also got a smashing fella. He's the award-winning actor himself, Mr Ross Kemp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're giving away an amazing holiday. <laughs> Melanda moment there. <laughs> I'll say that again. We're giving away an amazing holiday. We're not going to have a lot of that tonight, Bert, please. <laughs> and I've got a five-year-old who's going to teach me how to play golf. Now, I'll tell you why, because, you know, in, now in show business, what they all play when you get to a certain age, you play golf. And I can't play golf. Oh. I play poker. Oh, I play. <laughs> and we've got Big Rita and Hector. They're coming in and they're gonna, they've got their pick of new music releases. So it's all go, 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 campus, except for Olga. Olga, you all right? <laughs> you had a hard night or something? Buster's out of hospital on Friday of this week. <laughs> we'll be doing a full report on Buster. But she hasn't done bad, Olga, has she, eh? <laughs> Olga. Where's my Olga? Do you want a biscuit? Olga. Do you want a holiday? <laughs> do you want me to do Karma Melanda? Do you want a kiss? Oh, suit yourself. <laughs> now, look, look, oh, please, not moves there. Eh? But first, McFly. Now, they've already had five number ones, and Keisha has been behind the scenes for the video of their new single, Stargale. Let's have a look. <laughs> Hi, Paul, it's Keisha here. I'm really excited today. I'm going behind the scenes with a new pop video. <laughs> Let's go and meet McFly. <laughs> right now, so I'm Dougie Topless. Result. <laughs> I've got Ulf with me, the director of Stargirl. What is it like working with the, the boys? Oh, they're, <laughs> they're really bad. <laughs> they really are. But they don't have to be good actors. What show is it? Paul O'Grady. I'm not from here, okay. and I live under a rock. Um, I'm here with McFly. Can you just tell us a little bit about the video? Yeah, Dougie is the one who the happens chosen to one. fall in love with an alien, and so throughout the video, we are trying to send him into space in our homemade rocket. We've got quite good little experiments going on, actually, haven't we? Yeah. 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 So far yeah. today, we've had we've had um, Dougie floating. That's it, right in the air with some fans. We've whizzed him around in a trolley. Okay. Maureen, Olga's taking a big shine to your cravat there, so I think I've had that. Now, Ross Kemp is in the building, but first, it's competition time, and congratulations to Friday's winner. I hope you have fun in your brand new motor. But this week, we're giving away a different holiday for every day. And tonight... <laughs> tonight, it must be Brazil, because we play Carmen Miranda. Well, have a look. Tonight, it's a fortnight for four people in a villa in Florida. Oh. <laughs> Today, you could be jetting off to the Sunshine State of Florida for a 14-day holiday for four...